I chose to go to the program because I didn't think that I had enough of a foundation to get the most out of my undergrad as I could. I didn't really get into acting or theater until I was a sophomore in college. So a lot of the experiences and the vocabulary that my classmates knew from the very beginning, I didn't know until I was able to go to Yale and get that basic foundational training upon which I could build a talent. My most significant takeaway from this experience was that I learned that I am enough. Um, any actor has a body and they have a voice and they have imagination and they have experiences and I have all of those already. So there isn't really like a cap on your potential to play a character. There isn't a cap on your potential to have a career. It's just how willing are you to put in the work that you need to do to achieve the artistry that you want to achieve. What I found um, most helpful since graduating from the program was learning to approach my characters and learning to approach any aspect of my life with rigor. And what I mean by that is there are so many things about this industry and about this life that we have absolutely no control of. You cannot control your race. You can't control what neighborhood you were born in. You can't control your height. But what you can control is how rigorous are you preparing for your characters? Are you showing up off book? Are you putting in the work you need to to build a character in terms of your given circumstances and in terms of your objectives? Or are you showing up and just expecting it to happen? The more work that I put into a character before I even get there, the more it grows while I'm there because there's less of that foundational stuff that I have to put into it. So I would say that was definitely what I took away the most from the program. My fellow students um, while I was there were super cool. Um, my favorite part about everybody was that somehow we immediately got along from like the first day. Um, maybe it was trauma bonding because we were all a little bit scared. But everyone was super passionate about whatever they did, whether that was musical theater or new work or the classics or film. Everyone had a reason that they were doing what they were doing, and everybody had a passion that was palpable. It was also cool because it was a very supportive atmosphere where I knew that there were 40 other people that really wanted me to do my best at whatever I was doing, and that's not always possible in other atmospheres. My favorite part of the program was that I was able to be in an environment where all I had to focus on was acting. Because in your everyday life, you have other classes, other people, other errands. There's always something else to take care of. But while I was at the program, I was able to sit down and focus on my craft in a condensed manner which is truly very rare in this life. That's a very rare opportunity to have. Um, my biggest challenge while I was at the conservatory was that I kind of would approach the exercises that I was told to do from a place of nervousness or insecurity. I didn't think that I could do what the professors knew that I could do. So it created a lot of conflict in those moments, but once I was willing to quiet my own insecurities and just give whatever they told me just to give it a shot, that is when I started to grow in ways that I didn't even think were possible within five weeks or within one year or ten years. One thing I would like future students to know is that the more willing you are to learn something new, the more likely you are to learn something new. Um, it's okay not to be a master of theater or acting when you get there. Because as long as you're open to receiving something, then you will. And it's going to be dope.